Hello and welcome to my first decoration of the Stardew Valley 1.6 update. I wanted to leave all my decorating to it 100%ed, perfected my new farm, I've done that, we can get into decorating now. Um, and I wanted to do my first decoration using my favourite of the new catalogues because there's five new catalogues concerned Ape added, which is the wizard catalogue, which has got all the like celestial kind of stuff and all the library and just the magic stuff and I was so excited to finally use this. So we're going to make like a bedroom library kind of area for a little wizard girl. Um, and so yeah, let's see if we go. So I'm only using items from this catalogue. I'm going to do a bunch of these where I just decorate using the items from these new catalogues. And again, this is the first one. So as I said, I wanted to make a like little secret library incorporating my favourite bits of the new furniture. This is the first time seeing and using all of this furniture, um, which is why I gave you a little like run through of it at the start. But I knew in my head what I wanted, I just didn't know exactly how it was going to execute it. I just knew I had to have this bed, I had to have this rug, and I had to have so many bookcases just everywhere. So then in my head I was like, okay, this bed works so perfectly at the bottom here, and we can have it as so its own like little like own section, cover it with bookcases, Basically, the person that in my head that I'm envisioning this for is one kind of like Abigail, but just someone who just loves reading, loves magic, loves their own time. Kind of, as I say, like a wizard Abigail combination. But if you know the lore with those, then you know I don't need to explain myself anymore. So I've made my little bedroom, and then I love the new addition of these cushions. There are more cushions that aren't just these ones, and like these tea tables. Concerned, I've added some like tables that've got some like little cups and stuff. So I wanted to incorporate that too. So I was like, great. So I can make my library bed area. I can make my library chill area. I will at some point include a desk, and. With the also the addition of these new doors, as you can see, I've included one of the new doors. I'm so obsessed with these doors, like genuinely. I just feel like it adds so much that I didn't know I needed. And, you know, this is like possibilities. Like, you know, this door is going to lead to a secret room, but it obviously doesn't lead to a secret room because they don't exist. I just love the door, so I had to include the door. I used the dresser, which you can see poking up behind the bookcase on the right. I'm using it as a fake set of staircase because in my mind, this room is the only room this person has except for their hidden magic basement attic. I guess let's just say not basement, the attic. Um, so I used the dresser as staircases because I kind of thought it was perfect. And now you can see me really fiddling around. I just, I knew I wanted at this point, I just couldn't figure out the best way to configure it all around, especially with all the stuff that I wanted. So I, th so I moved the door over. I moved the desk to the top left and I moved my table a bit further down because then that just kind of... I separated the room how I wanted it. It wasn't too cluttered. Otherwise, I didn't really know where to put in the desk. And this desk is stunning. And I had to include the desk. So the desk was actually genuinely a priority. I would have changed my whole idea of the room just to make the desk fit in. And here I am just looking for my last little bits to decorate it. So when I decorate, um, I kind of go... I try and find like a base. I try and be like, okay, this is kind of the general layout I want. I'm happy with this. Now let's really get into the decorating. This is where I can grab all the furniture, fiddle stuff around, see what looks good compared to other things. Um, so I go back into the catalog and in my head, I'm like, okay, this could go there. This could go there. Let's try it all out. For example, I wanted a broom. Love the broom. I originally kind of like the end table as a stool. I just I think the chair just looks better, so I just went with the chair in the end. I love these little tables that've got these little pots on. There's also some that have like wine and things on. Love these, so I had to include that. And I love the idea that it's at the end of the desk. But I kind of I wanted to still like have it enclosed. I was really struggling with these bookcases because I just felt like however I laid it out, it just looked too long. Um so I end up actually just removing the small one and I like it a lot more. I might still fiddle with it, but this is how I left it for now. And then this mushroom pot is life changing. I had to include the mushroom pot. Obviously, had to include a crystal ball. It actually might have been criminal if I didn't include a crystal ball. That's where the table inclusion has come in. And oh, I just love how this room has turned out. It looks so, so good. And it was actually genuinely so easy to do because this furniture is all so nice now. So here is my first decoration of the 1.6 update. And there are so many more to come. If you like it, you know hit subscribe do all those fun things leave a like and i will see you in the next decoration i'm so excited to be saying those words again